to say retrospective look at our institutional experience treating patients with BR over the last six years or so. Back in mid-2013, uh, we made an institutional decision to treat all patients with upfront BR, uh, regardless of transplant eligibility. The analysis shows that you can achieve excellent response rates with an overall response rate of 88% and complete response rate of 55% uh, when you treat all comers with BR. And in our findings, there was no, in our, in our study, there was no difference between those over the age of 65 or under the age of 65 in terms of response rates. studies definitely support the use of BR in the transplant ineligible population. Our studies are pretty much in line with the STILL-1 and the BRIGHT trials, showing improved PFS compared to RCHOP, and in fact our study suggests that there might be an overall survival improvement, although we included patients treated with CVPR as that was part of our previous standard. In terms of the transplant eligible patients, our study suggests that BR is indeed an effective induction regimen for these patients. As you know, there is no defined standard of care in the literature for the frontline therapy of mantle cell lymphoma in transplant eligible patients and our study certainly suggests that this could be a reasonable alternative for some patients.